right, we're going to talk about probability today, and we're going to look at specifically the independent uh, probability calculation. When two events um, are happening at the same time, we see the word and right here. So the probability of event A and the probability of event B occurring. And of course, we're going to multiply those two events together to get the total probability of those uh, two independent events happening at the same time. So, you know, just in a general sense, we know probability, the probability of uh, flipping a coin and getting heads. That's uh, one and two. One out of two possibilities, heads or tails. And really, we can re uh, represent that as a percentage, if we like, which would be a 50% chance. But what about when there's two events that aren't related and we want to calculate that independent probability? So, for example, uh, what's the probability of rolling a, uh, a three on a six-sided die. So rolling a three, okay, and the probability of uh, getting heads, flipping a coin. Okay, those are our two independent events. We're gonna, we're gonna flip a coin and we're gonna, we're gonna roll a die. There are six possible um, numbers we can get when we roll a die. It wants to know what's the probability of getting a three that would be one out of six. What's the probability of getting a heads when we flip a coin? One out of two. So all we have to do using this formula here is multiply the probability of event A, which is one sixth, multiplied by the probability of event B, which is one half. Okay? And our answer is one twelfth. That's all we have to do when we're calculating probability of two independent events. We multiply the two events together, the probability of them occurring individually, and collectively that represents the probability of the two independent, unrelated events happening. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for checking my video out and look for future probability videos.